Hey everyone, Hippie Sina here. So today I have a new video for you guys that is about Gypsy Rose. I have been clipping and covering Gypsy Rose for a while now. And I decided to put a little commentary on Gypsy Rose, what I think about the whole situation. And um, I want to watch this clip together with you guys. This is a clip that is unseen footage from the TV show Life After Lockup with Gypsy Rose. And in this clip, Gypsy Rose admits that she has been cheating on Ryan with Ken since February. And I want to watch this clip together with you guys because I think it's very important to see also that um, Gypsy is not innocent. Do I believe that Gypsy was a victim of her mom? Yes, I do believe that. But on the other hand, she was the mastermind behind the schmurder of her mom. And um, she has manipulated, in my opinion, Nicholas Goda John into doing the horrible deed back then. And uh, now Gypsy uh, is, is free from prison and... After prison, she went with Ryan. She got married with Ryan whilst she was uh, in prison. And now she is back with Ken, her ex from 2019, I believe. She's back with him now after she left Ryan in March this year. And um, it's been a crazy roller coaster since. In my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. And everyone, as far as I've seen, is not liking Gypsy at all. Because Gypsy is exposing more and more of herself throughout the months. That she has been free from prison. And um, it, again, it has been a crazy roller coaster. And um, it's been very, very dramatic as well. I tried to find the right words to say, so um, I apologize for my thinking to find the right words, but it it has been crazy with Gypsy, and um, I feel sad for for Ryan Anderson that ha that he has been going through all of this, and I don't blame Ryan for being mad at Gypsy. I understand that he has a broken heart and. Uh, you know, uh, I don't blame Ryan for venting online on one hand, on the other. I don't think that it's it's very wisely to vent about your soon-to-be ex-wife because you guys are still together and in and in the midst of divorcing. And Gypsy also is pregnant as of right now, and um, she's been thirty thirteen weeks pregnant, I believe. 14 weeks something in the lines of that correct me if i'm wrong but um yeah it has been a very hectic hectic roller coaster with gypsy rose um i also believe that this woman gypsy rose needs more monitoring in her life and needs more therapy because gypsy in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only has been going back and forth and is everywhere online and uh, yeah it's 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 been very very crazy once again I know I'm on repeat but <laughs> it's been very crazy with Gyp Gypsy Rose you guys and I want to show you guys this clip because it's also um, important to see the other side of Gypsy and I do believe that Lifetime um you know, has shown Ryan to be the quote-unquote bad guy. I think, in my opinion, that Ryan is very kind and very sweet and very genuine. Is he innocent? No. But does he deserve to be villainized from that uh, or in that Lifetime show? No. Um, you know, it's just very important to show both sides of the Gypsy Rose story and I believe that the truth is in the middle. I believe that Gypsy Rose is a victim on one hand. On the other hand, she's also the mastermind of a huge schmurder that she did 
on her mom and do I believe that Gypsy Rose can manipulate people? Absolutely, I do believe that. No hate against Gypsy Rose, but there's just a lot of things that are, you know, unwinding here and a lot of things that I've seen since I followed Gypsy Rose story on social media that have been very interesting like this clip right here that I'm going to play for you guys and um, I hope that you guys all like and love this video give a comment and I see you guys later love you all everyone thank you all so much everyone for um, the many subscribers that I have on my YouTube channel I love and appreciate you all so much everyone Talk later. Love you all. Hey. Oh my god, your nose. <laughs> I know. It looks good. It looks good. Who are you lying to right now? <laughs> looks like Nanny McPhee a little bit. <gasps> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm just no, I'm it doesn't. So what's up? How's your day going? Ryan called me. He's like, guess what I found out today? I said, what? Did you been talking about mother since late February? You I'm like, wow. oh. Wow. I'm like, and then I'm like, so are you going to subpoena my text messages? He's like, yep. Oh my God. He's blowing my freaking up again. This is why you just need to block him, honestly. Like, <laughs> it just feels like it's just uh, you two fighting every day. Pretty much. What's the point? I know. I know. Ken and I are back together. We want to wait till the divorce is final to come out in the public eye with it. We had one visit, and he texted me yesterday, and he's like, are you having any second thoughts? You have always been my person. I never proposed.